Hi, I'm Jo, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be doing yoga for releasing anxiety and stress. So think pre-exams, SATs, things like that. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be doing some yoga and some breathing techniques to help with like pre-exam stress, pre-SATs tests, and any other kind of anxiety and stress. So just to start today's practice, come into a comfortable seated position, either on your knees or if you find this uncomfortable. Um, you can always get some blocks to sit on some blocks or just sit in easy pose. And this is something you can do it's set at your desk pre-test as well. You can actually just sit there with your feet on the floor and your hands resting on your thighs and just be still. So just for the moment, just bring yourself to a still place. Close your eyes and just breathe in and out through your nose. Just focusing on that breath. And notice if thoughts come into your head, which probably will happen, it happens quite naturally. So just allow yourself when this happens, just acknowledge that it's happened and allow your thoughts to come back to your breathing. Let your focus be on your breathing. And just gently open your eyes. Bringing your hand onto your head, just tip your head one way, stretching your neck. And then swap your hands over and just stretching your neck the other way, just gently using the weight of your hand. And then lift up. And then into the shoulders. So breathe in, bringing those shoulders up, breathe out, relax them down. Try and relax your neck, try not to bring too much tension into your neck. And then circle those shoulders. Come to the centre. Take one arm across your body onto the outside of the knee, the other hand behind you, and twist. And the other way. Twisting through the spine. And come back. And we're going to take a side. Lean all the way over, opening up the side of the body. If you can open your heart and chest and look up to the ceiling, then brilliant, do that. If not, just look to the front if that feels too uncomfortable to look up. And the other side. Try not to collapse into this arm on the floor, lifting up and over. And come back to the centre. Onto all fours. With your hands underneath your shoulders, your knees underneath your hips. And just move through some cat curls. Looking up as you drop your tummy. And looking underneath as you raise your spine. Breathing in as you look up. Breathing out as you look under. And then coming forward onto your tummy and find yourself in sphinx pose. I'm not prepared, she's in sphinx pose. So elbows are underneath the shoulders, heart and chest is open, 
middle fingers are parallel to each other so we know that the forearms are parallel to each other. And just stretch those legs behind you. Open your heart and chest and breathe deeply. one foot up and just reach behind you maybe that foot is in within reach if not then just reach back and visualize and imagine yourself grabbing it and then swap sides keeping your heart and chest open all the time and breathe Bring yourself back into child's pose and take a stretch. Stretching through the spine. And then lift your head up. And bring yourself into easy pose. So cross-legged. And we're going to visualise now any anxiety or stress that we might have or feelings that don't serve us and feel uncomfortable, actually pushing them away from you, physically removing them from you. So the hands are going to be kind of here, and as you breathe in, they come back a little bit and your heart expands, your chest expands. As you breathe out, with force, you're pushing that anxiety away, whatever it is that you don't want, okay? And if you can't visualise anything, don't worry about it. Just do the movements because the, the magic will happen anyway. So, breathing in back, breathing out forwards, quite rapid, like this. And continue. Keep going, even when those arms get tired, use that powerful breath. Shake them, shake them, shake them. Keep shaking. And just relax your hands down, relax them onto your knees. And just allow your body to reset, allow all of that stress or worry just disappear. Your aura will be really strong right now, really energised. You might even, sometimes you can even feel it, it's like a sort of tingling around you, an energy outside of you that you notice. Don't worry if you can't, it's very subtle. And then we're going to do a breath down that just regulates the breath pattern and all anxiety and stress and excitement and fear and all of those emotions that we experience are all managed and assisted by our breath. So the more we can control our breath, the more we can control our mental responses. The more we can control our breath, the more we can control our mental responses. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to breathe in for the count of four and breathe out for the count of four. As easy as that. And this is something you can do in the exam room, uh, in the test room, at your desk with nobody else knowing you're doing it. And it's perfect just to bring the mind back into focus and to stop all the thoughts and just to bring any stress levels down. So close your eyes, tall spine, always keeping the spine tall. When we slouch already, you feel a little bit anxious, so we keep that spine tall. And then breathe in, two, three, four. Breathe out, two, three, four. In, two, three, four. 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 Out, two, three, four. And continue. And then just allow your breath to go back to its natural pattern. Blink your eyes open. And just take a moment just to notice how you feel, how the mind is, how the body is. And remember that whatever exam or test or stressful situation that you're heading into, the only thing, the only thing you can ever do is do your best. Can't do any more than that. And just by allowing yourself to have a breath, to face things with confidence, with an open heart, and know that your best is your best. And that's what you can achieve, and that's what you can do. So have a brilliant rest of your day, rest of your week. Don't forget to subscribe, give this channel a thumbs up, and I will see you soon. Take care. Namaste.